Hello, I am Dr. Rajiv Bhattacharji. I am a consultant medical oncologist at PLS Hospitals, Kolkata. Today, I have come to you with a concept called tumor board. So, when a patient comes to us of cancer, uh, it, he or she can be treated with a myriad of choices. For example, sometimes he could be treated with surgery, sometimes uh, he or she may require uh, chemotherapy or other forms of system therapy like immunotherapy or targeted therapy or sometimes uh, he or she may require uh, radiotherapy. So uh, which particular way a patient requires to go uh, in his or her treatment path has to be decided not by just one specialist but a number of specialists and so when they all the various uh, speciali specialists are uh, do come together and form a board to decide on the treatment avenue for that particular patient that thing is called a tumor board so on a tumor board there are various specialists for example uh, uh, the, uh, the, the surgical oncologists the medical oncologists the radiation oncologists oncopathologists interventional radiologists so these form the core team which constitute the tumor board if the patient may uh, require some kidney care in that case a nephrologist has to be on that board if the patient requires some cardiac care in that case cardiologist needs to be uh, kept on board gastroenterologists uh, ct based surgeons so all the, the 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 specialities could be brought together into the tumor board in order to provide the patient that one particular patient to the perfect treatment plan so we need to uh, devise a specific treatment plan which is suited to that particular patient and in order to do that we need to bring all the specialities and all the brains together into the tumor board so it is very important in today's world with so many varieties of treatment available in cancer care to form a tumor board in case of each and every uh, patient sometimes the cases may be so simple and run of the meal that it can be uh, taken care of by a single person maybe a surgical oncologist or a medical oncologist where all the protocols are well documented but there are situations where the the patient presents with out of box presentations in that case the tumor board is of utmost necessity for providing the patient with a comprehensive and scientific and evidence-based cancer management so do whenever you want to go to a place for cancer treatment make sure that a functional tumor board is available in that particular hospital. At PLS hospitals, we do have a tumor board where we have uh, surgical oncologists, medical oncologists, that is me, uh, we have gynecological oncologists, we have interventional radiologists as well as oncopathologists. We also bring in uh, the various other specialities like pulmonology, cardiology, nephrology, uh, etc. into the board as and when it is required. So. That's all about tumor work. Thank you.